My name is Aileen Calderon. I'm a tech specialist here in ATG, and today I'm going to show you how to create your skybox in Enscape from a Google Street View. For the purpose of this demo, I'm using one of the free models available in Enscape website. I will be using the Street View Download 360 app, Google Maps, and Photoshop. You will be able to find these links in the description of the video. First thing you need to do is to identify your project's location, or if you don't have it, a view that suits your design intent. For this project, I would like to get a lake view. Let's do this. Okay. This one looks good. It should work. The next step is to get the panorama ID. For that, you will need to copy the link and paste it in the Load Panorama tab. A street Viewer is an online platform that will allow you to get the ID for a 360 images in high quality. All you need to do after loading it is click on the link to copy. Open the Street View Download app, choose the locations where you want to save it, Paste the link in the Panorama ID tab. Choose the resolution. For this, Enscape requires for the skybox a resolution radio 2 to 1. And then just download the panorama. Once we have our JPEG file, we need to change it to HDR file. For that, you can use a converter online or Photoshop to change the format. After you did your picture and you're satisfied with it. To get the best resolution for the render, I'll suggest to use it on 32 bits. Then save it as in HDR format, which is the format we need for our skybox. So let's go to our model and rev it and start our view in Enscape. I've done this previously to save us some time. We can have our model on the left and the render view on the right side. Let's go to settings, visual settings, and on the atmosphere tab, we go to the Horizon, select the skybox, let's load a file, and let's give it a second while it loads. So you can see the difference between the clip. The clear sky we had before and our 360 panorama view. I don't really want to show that. So we can rotate the image until we get the area we want to show. You can also adjust the brightest point as sun direction or just normalize the brightness by using the bar below. You can adjust the lux level on your render. Choose your view and as you can see the difference between the brightest point the sun direction without it. It depends on what you want to highlight in your render. Um, you can adjust that with this tab. You can adjust the fog, the illumination, the wind, and anything related with your skybox. You can control all this from the atmosphere tab. So let's see the final result. Here it is, our house, with the view that we select from our 360 image from Google Maps. 
that's it for today. I hope you enjoy your tech talk video and have a great day. Yeah.